is that events are content. And everything is about content right now. In fact, you know, you guys, this is your time. Uh, marketing is all about content right now. And you guys, the events are all about content, have always been about content. So, um, so the key is to take the content that you already have at your events and make the best use of them by, as we were talking about before, creating something that is tweetable or Instagrammable or whatever, and having your attendees drive your content, push your content out to you know, the universe to, to get something that you could never get before with traditional advertising, just this massive, massive reach. And it's word of mouth reach. Um, you know, again, that's why it's so brilliant. Um, when somebody shares something on Facebook about your event, how much more valuable is it than if you spent thousands of dollars to put an ad in a magazine? Um, so, so I guess the thing I, wanted, I would like to stress is it's all about creating content and then using content in a variety of ways. For instance, your, your sessions. You know, you get summaries done of your sessions. You can create blog posts out of all those summaries. You could have blog posts for the rest of the year of, with some of these big conferences and put a picture in it, you know, add a little bit of uh, a couple of SEO things that are really, really simple to learn. And you've got 365 degree, or excuse me, 365 days a year of marketing for your event and creating a community. So th that's what mine uh, as an event organizer, if you really analyze your content, I had a two-hour focus group last week for something I did for an organization, and out of that two-hour focus group, I was able to audio tape it and put together about 75 clips that are basically in the attention span of 30 seconds to a minute, that every single one of them was a news item that you can convert into something. Do you know, you know what you can also do is you can take your speakers, just get audio from your speakers and have somebody put pictures to it. And you know, you've got this brilliant, um, easy to digest as long as it's, you want to make it sure it's only 20 minutes and no, no longer because people online right. really Debate don't. 20 minutes. I think 20 minutes is too long. What do you think, Lindsay? 20 minutes for a piece of content. What is the attention span? Uh, is it a paragraph? Is it 30 seconds? Oh, it's is a it tweet. 15 it's seconds? It's like is it 140 characters or less. What? Go ahead, debate. <laughs> fight, fight. Uh, before this. I give you the mic, I would say it, it's about varied lengths. So put the full session on, grab a tweet from it, take a picture and put it with a quote, grab a little, you know, little tiny sound bite from it, and then also do a recap video. Because everyone takes in information differently. And if the session's really good, I would totally watch 20 minutes of it. If right. it's not, I only want to see a tweet. Um, but so I think just to provide it for people in multiple forms. Yeah, I was ex exactly going to say that. And then you link them all together. You know, if, if you see that five minute clip, maybe somebody doesn't have time and doesn't want to see more. But if you press on a link and you go to the longer version, that somebody else may really enjoy it. But it does take a lot of time to do that. It takes a lot of time to convert this content. And, and I would say it's two pronged. I would say that you have to create really good content, but you also have to be able to promote it on social media. You're building a community on social media. Don't just be a broadcaster because everyone's going to tune you out on social media. But if you're one of those people that's sharing and interacting with your niche community, those people are going to want to help you out. And, and that's how, how uh, social media works. It's, it's all about sharing and, and reciprocation.